Once again, welcome to the Tartarus Key, this time for part two. And this time I've got the Lion Key, meaning I can go through all the doors that look like this. Obviously there's this one at the end of the corridor, that seems to lead upstairs, but then there's another one back here, which maybe leads downstairs? I don't know, let's see. One less door to worry about. Okay. Oh, alright. Not what I expected. It's a, it's a closet, alright. A fairly small closet by the looks of it, but there is something to do here. Right, yeah, maybe we should focus on this place before we go upstairs. I Why does that keep happening? And what is happening? We're getting a lighting change, that's what's happening. It sounds like the mansion's shifting itself around me. Is that it? Hmm. What the hell have we got here? All these posters. Focus, you can do this. Reach. Reach vertically. Is there something above me? <laughs> there might be, right? There's cleaning products. Two whole shelves filled with cleaning products. This house has seen some deep cleaning. Oh, let's talk about that. There's so many cleaning supplies. And I thought my grandma was a clean freak. Perhaps, though if they have it, bleach can be used more creatively. Creative how? Combined with ammonia, bleach will release a toxic vapor called chloramine. In fact, it's entirely possible that earlier I was choking on precisely that gas. You think that's creative? <laughs> well, gotta love a multitasker. Yeah, maybe that was it. Hmm, okay. Right, let's, let's close this up. There's actually paintings hidden behind the door. Why would someone buy so many copies of the same painting? Replacements or set dressing? Yeah, I think I'm with Torres on this one. I think it's more like set dressing. What about the books? They look like typical books, but they're all blank on the inside. Either someone's big into journaling, or they're just for appearances. But whose? Hmm. Some boxes out there, another camera watching my every move. Gloves? Okay, rubber gloves and cleaning cloths. I don't want to know what was being cleaned up. Or maybe I do, because let's discuss it. How heavy duty are the gloves, Torres asks. They're, uh... I'm going to say thicker than any kitchen gloves I've ever used, maybe. Hmm. Doesn't sound like the sort of thing you'd use to work with acid, then. Excuse me? It's a good thing. It means we don't have to worry about acid as a potential threat. Probably. Wait, wait, wait. A potential threat? How exactly? Like, I would fall into a vat of acid? How long have you thought that that could be a thing? Considering how elaborate some of these traps have been, acid isn't a big leap from poisonous gas. And you didn't think to warn me that you thought that might be a possibility? I'm surprised you didn't consider it yourself, honestly. My point is, just going by that supply closet, acid probably isn't on the table. Probably. Pro- You know what? I'm just gonna keep moving on. Carefully. Yes. Very carefully. Alright. Uh, we got some bins down here. Biohazard bins. Filled to the brim, too. But why are they so full? What have they been cleaning up? And how often? Hmm. Not sure. Plugs? If these wires were connected, I bet I could turn the black... Black light on? There's a black light. Okay. I need something to hold both ends together. There's got to be something in this mess. Okay. What's this connected to? Alright. Seems to curve around to the right. Is there a black light in here? Wait. Oh, there it is. There it is. It's a black light. Hmm. It won't turn on. Maybe it's not getting any power. Because these aren't connected? Right, okay. Oh, what's this? There's a note here. Management approved the animal motivationals. They want you to ignore the rest. Okay. They've each got a different colour. It's a different suit, isn't it? It's a, it's a heart? A spade? These are diamonds? Seems like we don't have any clubs. Right. I can't open this locker. I'm going to need a code. It's another four-digit code. And remarkably, it's not that. I guess it's got something to do with these. Find your truth. Think big. Start small. Right. If that note's true, then I probably ignore this one. But I don't ignore this one. Hmm. Don't wait. Right. Ah. Ah, tape. Tape! So... Oh, it, it's electrical tape. Even better. Okay, so maybe that's what I use? Yes! There we are! There we are! Okay? 
Tape saves the day. I think this will hold. All right. So let's have a look at the black light again. Hey, look at that. Look at that. All right. The only thing it seems to be lighting up is the keypad, and I can actually see which buttons have been pressed. Let's see. Uh... Oh, second try! Brilliant! Okay. Not what I expected. Hey, I found a really heavy-duty door hidden inside a locker. A hidden door. Whatever's inside has got to be worth keeping safe. See a way to open it? There's a rotary lock. So, like everything else, it's got to be a puzzle. And you're a proven expert at those. Get on it. Okay. Will do. Ah. Ah, very interesting. Okay, so we've got the choice of three suits, yeah. No clubs, for some reason. But it's got to have something to do with this, hasn't it? Okay. So, are we looking for the animals specifically? It'd be nice if there's five of them. Uh, so... Right... We're going from left to right, top to bottom. Spade, heart, diamond. Spade, diamond? Yeah, that, that could work. So, spade, heart. Oh, like that. Perfect. There we go. There we go. What the fuck is this? Another door? This better be worth it. What is this place? I thought I was going to have an easy time in here, but all right. It's a color pad. Okay, and it looks like we've got a choice of three colors. It's either going to be red, yellow, or blue. Three by three grid. Can I can I turn the black light off? I don't know if that's going to help or... Uh, I'm not sure. It's these colors, isn't it? Right, right, okay, well hang on. There is a sort of 3x3 three three grid here, so, bl hang on, blue, blue, red, red, or pink, pink, potentially, uh, yellow, yellow, <laughs> this might be it, uh, and then it's pink, blue, yellow. That's it, okay, what next? Another puzzle, what's this? Managed to open the door? Yes, twice now, only to find another door. You sound frustrated. Hell yeah, I'm frustrated. If I don't find a key out of this place, I'm going to flip out. Then I hope you find it. Not sure I can handle you flipping out. And I've seen a lot. Okay, so what's going on here? <laughs> We're quite a few layers deep now. Oh, bloody hell. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I assume it's meant to be like the loading symbol. I suppose it's meant to be standing up like that, but unfortunately some of these rings, they don't really cooperate, do they? Hmm, okay. Yeah, I want it to be like that, just the other way up. Like that, there we go! Okay. And what's this? An appointment card. Family health clinic, right. Huh. Torres, you will not believe what was behind all those doors. A piece of paper. Torres? Hello? Huh. That's weird. Okay, let's have a look at this. An appointment card for the clinic. It's already been signed. Nothing on the back. Booking, right, the... Uh, there's a patient number, there's a nurse. I can't really see it, unfortunately. And when you zoom in in this game, it doesn't zoom in for the inventory item. Huh. That's got to be important, though, right? 16845? What the hell? What the hell? <laughs> okay. I'm going to walk into the void. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Is this some, like, weird secret ending or something? Torres? I have no idea what's going on. I'm just going to keep on following these footprints. To a door? A red door in the middle of nowhere. That 
That seems to be where the footprints lead. Hmm. Nowhere to go but through. So let's go through. <laughs> what the? The closet? The heck is going on? Ah, there we are. Alex? Alex, can you hear me? Torres? Had me worried there for a sec. Couldn't make radio contact. Something is seriously wrong. It sounds crazy, but one minute I'm standing in a closet. I turn around for just a moment and suddenly I'm in an... Uh, an infinite void. An infinite void? It looked how it sounds. And I don't want to go back. It's got to be another trick. This mansion is rigged with puzzles. Maybe... No, not this time. We've seen some weird shit. I mean, a flesh wall for crying out loud. This was real. Kid, we've got enough on our plate as it is. If you say you saw it, fine, sure. The infinite void of space is just one issue of an ever-growing list. Yeah, okay, fine. Were you able to at least get anything from the closet? I did find an appointment card for the clinic. It was behind all the blast doors. You think that'll be useful? I just went to hell and back. I'll find a way to make it work. Yeah, this better be worth it. What on earth, though? That was really, really strange. Really surreal. I do wonder if I'm being drugged as well. You know, like that flesh wall. Maybe it wasn't real. Maybe that infinite void wasn't real. <sighs> okay, let's see. There's no question mark anymore. And uh, not real, not real, not real is there. I think we might be done with this place. Okay. All right. <laughs> Well, my initial plan was to go through this door and head upstairs, so let's do that, shall we? Alright, the east stairway. Something's moving, something's changing. I guess if you're going to the trouble of making a fancy key, you get your mileage out of it. You do indeed. Alright, so floor one, east wing. Oh! Oh, okay, I think this corridor might have been the other choice that I had before. Okay, so this essentially acted as a shortcut. Let's see. Hello. Alright. Anything down here? Nothing noteworthy? No. No, can't comment on anything. Right, what have we got here? This door is marked with a peacock emblem. It's locked up tight. There's another one. Uh, down to the left, I suppose. Right, so this door? Okay. The master bedroom, okay. Yep, seems like there's gonna be stuff to do in the master bedroom. Let's just go and confirm that this door is going to be open. I'm sorry. <laughs> this hallway seems long? Shouldn't I be able to see the door by now? You should, yes. Okay, something is definitely not right here. Torres? Hey, hey Torres? I don't think it's Torres on the other end. I, I think I'm... I I'm kind of freaking out a little. I'm... Um, I'm lost in a hall? I, <laughs> I know how that sounds, but I, I can't find my way out. <laughs> what? Are you all alone? Huh? I... I mean, there's nobody else here. Are you scared? Yes, I'm scared! What are you... Why does your voice sound... Alex. Alex, 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 Alex! Who is this? What... what? Torres? It's not Torres, is it? Wow, I haven't... I haven't made any distance at all. I, uh, what the fuck is going on in this place? This is cool! Right. There she is. Alex? Hey, Alex! You there? Torres? Thank God! Hey, when I buzz you on this thing, you need to answer, okay? I hadn't heard from you, and I was worried. I mean, I thought... Just answer me next time, damn it! We were just talking. When I was... When I couldn't... We just had an entire conversation. And you were being really freaking weird, too. What was that about? What are you talking about? I've been trying to... 
Like, just a minute ago. I called you because I... I was lost and you just... You laughed at me. And you were... I don't appreciate being teased right now, okay? Alex, we didn't... That didn't happen. What? No, but... I, I talked to you. I, I know I did. At least I... I thought it was you. But you... I mean, they... Whoever I was talking to was acting really... Are you okay, Alex? Yeah, I just... I... Yeah. I'm okay. I'm fine. I am not fine. I guess I must have... Um... Never mind. Everything's fine. Look, I don't blame you for getting spooked. This whole place is strange. I wouldn't be surprised if these old walls crossed some wires in that radio. Just take it easy and watch your back. Right. Okay. But yeah, okay. That gets us back to this place with another one of these peacock doors. Yeah, well, I guess I'm going to get a peacock key next. Oh, Charles, hey. Uh, yeah, hey, are you there? Yes, I read you, Alex, loud and clear. How may I assist you? It just occurred to me to ask you if you knew anything about this sigil? It's uh, painted in front of the fireplace on the second floor landing. In, in blood, looks like. It sort of resembles a big triangle with what looks like a pentagram inside it at the widest part. There's a lot of little symbols and interconnecting lines in it, too. Hmm. 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 <laughs> hmm. What you're describing does sound a little like a speaking place. Certain cultures would have them, sites adorned with glyphs and symbols. They would allow elders to hear the voices of their... Well, their gods, I suppose. Though, in some cases, they were other beings. Oh, uh, but I've never heard of blood being used for such a purpose. Typically, these were holy ceremonies. Quite moving, actually. Trust me, there's nothing holy about this. Ah, yes, I, I might have to agree. I don't suppose you... <laughs> hear anything, do you? Should I? <laughs> Long, awkward silence. Alex? Uh, no. I don't hear anything. Ah, oh, jeez, now you've got me spooked even more. Right. Do I hear something? Something faint in the background? Yeah. Looking at it makes my head feel weird. Right, yeah. Let's let's leave this alone. Let's go this way. Let's go this way and let's go back to this master bedroom, shall we? That seems to be the next room that we have to tackle. Let's see. Okay. Right. Ah, uh, so... Let's close the door. Nothing on the back of it. And let's just take this... Bit by bit, what's this? A slide. Dorochrome transparency? Something like that? Okay. Oh, hang on, there's something... There's something underneath it, too. Oh, alright. We're, uh... I guess we're finding four slides, and then we've got to switch their positions? Hmm. Alright. Hang on. Code note. 1592. Okay, I'm just going to note that down. 1592. Alright. No, there's definitely nothing on the back. Nothing on the back. Okay, and on this one? Yeah, okay. Okay. Let's see. I've got some clothes hanging up here. Okay, a big pile of clothes on the floor as well. Never thought I'd see someone whose laundry habits were worse than mine. <laughs> I do like the dialogue in this game, yeah. I'm liking the story. I'm, I'm liking the game's sense of humour as well, at times. There's a lot to like about this one. Oh. Same kind of thing, only it's now one and three that are switching positions. Hmm. Okay. Is that it? We've got an open book here. Okay. In certain cultures, crystals have more meaning than pretty baubles to decorate your home with. It was believed that the many facets inside them could act as windows to other realms, or even to the afterlife. One ritual involved building a doorway out of crystal during the fall equinox, in the belief that the shadow it cast was actually a doorway to another world. Building such a structure is, of course, impractical at best, and it's unlikely that this ritual was ever really performed at a full scale. Which, perhaps, is a comfort, given that if you open a door to somewhere, you never really know what might come through from the other side. No, suppose not. 
but whoever's watching the feed might. Hmm. Okay. I don't think it's really a time for a lie down, do you? Oh, what? Hang on. Now one and four are switching positions? But in what order? Because that's going to that's going to change things around. Is it that code, do you think? Maybe it's the numbers of the code. Could be. Right, four digits? Okay, I'm going to assume that it isn't 1592. No, that would be far too easy, far too simple. I think we need to switch the numbers around, but I don't know how. Oh god, look at this. Now three and four are changing. I mean, I could just... You know, go through this trial and error. Try every single combination. I'll probably get it at some point. Okay, we've got a board here. A weird looking board. Is it for a game of some sort? Maybe the pieces are around here somewhere. Well, if they are, I haven't found them yet. We do have a projector, though. Alright. Okay. Someone's hung a sheet on the wall. They were using it as a makeshift screen. That's the floor plan of this room, isn't it? So, four, three, oh. That's where I've seen all those little scribbles, those little diagrams. So, one, one is that, isn't it? And then two is behind me. Three, it seems, is that one. And then four is the one under the table. Okay, so if we're doing this one first, and it was 1592... That's going to change it to 1952? Okay, so 1952. And then we go back here. Uh, whereabouts was it? It was in one of the drawers, wasn't it? There it is. There it is. So 1952 is going to become... 5912? Okay. I'm just making a note of that. 5912. <laughs> Alright. And then this is going to change... It's a 5921. Okay, 5921. Finally, though. Yeah, finally it's going to be this one. Right, so it's not 5921. It's going to be... It's going to be 19... 1925. 1925. Yes. Ooh. What in the... I was not expecting that. This game is surprising me in some brilliant ways. I was not expecting that either. I've got a hidden room. Right. I don't know why I'm surprised that this place has secret rooms. It's like the least weird thing about it. You'd be surprised how common those are. Deal with a lot of secret passages and such as a detective, do you? Well, normally it's less elaborate. Panic rooms are still popular, for instance. But more often than not, it's, oh, say, an old office or bedroom. They get boarded up and forgotten about before the place was sold. Ever find anything cool? Hmm. I did once get called in by a school. They had found an old room in their basement while renovating. Two bodies. Well, skeletons, really, at that point. Both in chairs, opposite an old standing mirror. Cracks right down the middle. You're kidding! I'm not. They were so old, it was impossible to tell what happened to them. The official record was that it was some sort of suicide pact, given the symbols drawn on the floor around them. People have always been strange, Alex. That's still super creepy, though. Some real Bloody Mary stuff. What? Like ghosts? It's never ghosts or monsters, Alex. It's always people. People do the worst, most terrifying things you can imagine. I can't tell if you're the scariest person I've ever met or the most boring. I get that a lot. <laughs> I like Torres. Okay, so yeah, we've got, we've got a load of boxes here. Sealed and covered. I'm not digging through all these if I don't have to. And I guess you don't have to. Is that a doorway? Uh, it's a chalk outline. An unfinished door, maybe? Let's see. Hmm. Alright. Hang on. Oh, it's another slide! Ah! Okay. Uh, more boxes over here. Again, sealed and covered. Not digging through them. Lots of cobwebs. Yeah, so many. I don't think anyone's been in here for a long time. Hmm. I found the slide. Is that all this room's for? Maybe. Maybe. I might be coming back later. For now, let's put this new slide in. 
What is that, a date? Okay, symbols and numbers? What could these be for? Oh. That's new. <laughs> I guess that answers my question. Huh. Okay. So we can slide that up and down. So, three, seven, ten. And is that symbol one? That's six? That's twelve? Let's see then. So that one up there, that is one. And is that one six? Yeah, that one's six. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, I think. So if we wanted ten there, seven. Right, th yeah, okay. There we are. Alright, is that another? It's another slide. And statues? What have we got here? Another projector slide. And some weird looking statues. What are these for? I have no idea. Are they statues or crystals? After what I just read about, I wouldn't be surprised if they were crystals. Right, okay, so the slide goes in. Alright. Ah, that's, that's that door, isn't it? Hmm, okay. Do the statues go here? They fit perfectly onto this board. But what am I meant to do now? Well, let's figure it out, shall we? Okay. I guess we just got to reposition them. Hey, there we go. Right down the middle. That's it. We're creating the door, aren't we? Yes! Okay. What's with this shape? It kind of looks like a door. What was that? Hello? Someone there? Maybe someone else I need to rescue? Hmm. Oh. Honestly, I was half expecting the door to be real now. Huh. I could have sworn I heard... Oh. Oh dear. Holy f... <laughs> the lights! Come on, come on, stupid flashlight! Why are you dead now? Okay, okay, deep breaths. It's fine. I'm fine. Just find the door. Okay. I... I can't find the door. Well, I can't be that far away. There's nothing on the wall. What? Oh, God. Oh. We've got a, a mystery person again. I... I just can't believe it, officer. Are you sure it's her? H who... No, no. My little girl. My little Alex. Is that... Grandma? What? I can't believe she's gone. I... The body was so... Are you sure? No, Gran. I, I'm here. I'm right here. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. My little girl. My sweet little girl. But I should have expected it. She was always sticking her nose in where it didn't belong. I always told her one of these days, someone was going to cut it off. <laughs> oh god, what the fuck is going on? Oh, hang on, right, the light's back. And the door's back, apparently. Oh my god, oh my god. What? What? Yeah, what indeed? The door. I swear it wasn't here a second ago. Oh, oh, it is a real door now. And where did that one come from? I... I must be seeing things. Okay. All right, and we're back in control. The fuck was that? Grandma? Or someone mimicking the voice of my grandma? Wait, what's this? A planetarium? What? Okay. What's going on? First my flashlight dies, and then a secret door opens to... Well, a planetarium, right? <laughs> I'm not sure exactly. What is this? A planetarium? Are you kidding me? Torres has got to hear about this. You will not believe what I found. You know that's not true. N no, I, I mean, really, it's... It's just... Are you okay, Alex? You sound rattled. Did something happen? Several things, yeah. No, no, it's it's fine. I'm fine. Nothing happened. Look, I, I found my way into what looks like a planetarium. 
Okay, you got me. That's actually a little surprising. Even for this place. <laughs> there has to be some sort of trick to it. Unless it's playing some sort of laser rock show I'm missing out on. Huh, I wish. It's a pretty empty looking room. I'll give it a once over. It shouldn't be long. Famous last words. Don't even joke about that. Whoa, sorry. Are you sure you're- Fine. I'm fine. I'll call you if I find anything. Okay. Alright, so this has been added to the map as well. Yeah, this very strange planetarium. <sighs> okay. Where do I even begin? Maybe with this. Okay. Some sort of note. Yeah, alright. Uh, okay, so this is double sided. Uh, Taurus 37, Karina 15 6, Cetus 12 7, Orion 24 11. That's JP. Looks like a back and forth between two people. The first is written in red ink. John, please be more careful. There's no 24th month. Or 29th month, maybe. The second's in blue. Jeffrey, I tell you this every single time. It's day month, not month day. You're always getting the dates wrong. Okay. So, Karina, for instance, is the 15th of June. 12th of July for Cetus, and... Yeah, okay. Hmm. Right, wait, north button? Okay, I can lock these. There's a, a north, a west, a south, an east. There's also a little diagram down here. Uh, alright. Can't really read what that says, unfortunately. They don't... They don't before me? But I think I figured it out, or something like that. Um, right. Okay, <laughs> drawing of a, a unicorn by the looks of it? Hmm, this is it. Ah, yes, okay. So, let me just try 3-7, uh, for instance, for Taurus. Okay, that moves around. Ah, right, yes. Right. And then... I don't know if I want these to be locked or unlocked. Maybe locked? And they're all locked. Okay, right. Yeah, I'm going to need more information. What's this? A binder. A note ring binder with a unicorn on it. Huh. Let's take a look. Yeah, it's empty. Ah, alright. So, we're getting this unicorn again. N. This whale is S. So, north and south? Maybe. This blackboard is covered in constellations and notes. The eagle, wolf, unicorn, and whale are circled. They've been labelled too. Aquila, Lupus, Monoceros, and Cetus. This looks important. i better make a note. Okay. So, presumably there's nothing on the back of this one. No. <laughs> huh. Taurus could... No. Yeah, okay. I, I thought this, this was going to be it. We found the solution, but I don't think so. Um, the whale, Cetus, is 12-7, it looks like. Yeah, so maybe that's useful. And maybe that's south? Maybe that's where I need to... I need to make that the south one? I don't know. I'm not really sure. So... 12-12-7? I really don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> oh, I need a drink. I haven't been in a room yet that doesn't have enough drinks to throw a party. It's true, actually, yeah. I think in every room there's been booze, or booze bottles. Something back here? Oh, there is, actually. Ah, okay, I think maybe more dates? Right, okay. Lyra, Aquila, Hydra, Sea... Oh, right. We've got a different one for the whale. Some thoughts written down on the back. Whoever this was, they were frustrated. Jonathan is pig-headed. If we could only meet in the middle, I'm sure we would find the answer. Right. That's it? Okay, that's it. Good, 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 right. 
Ah, uh, there's a... Oh, hang on. Something's sticking out here. It's it's another note. Oh, bloody hell. This is pretty in-depth, this one. So we've got Capricorn, Lupus, Sagittarius. Uh, the whale is unobserved. Cetus is unobserved. There's more on the back. Preliminary directions. The Capricorn's north. Lupus is east. Sagittarius is east. Cetus inconclusive. Right. Lupus is the wolf, isn't it? Uh... Wolf Lupus, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. I think the whale's south, and I think the unicorn's north. And if the wolf is east, then that would mean that the bird might be west? Right. Six... F okay, alright, so six... Let's see. The west one's over here, isn't it? Six, six, five? There we are. There we are. And there it is. That's it. Okay, so... Hmm. Do we need to... Oh, hang on. Oh, I see. Right, so if I lock that in position, and I just move this around a bit, that's still locked in position. Right, I, I think I understand the locks now. Okay, alright. Anything else? Any more? Uh, yeah, there is, I think. A registry. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, it's a book. Do you want to read it? There you go. Observation Committee. Jonathan Parker, James Patrick, Jason Pond, Jeffrey Patilicki, Jacob P. Whoever thought it'd be fun for everyone to have the same initials is a moron. They're all JP. Fuck's sake. They've all got different colours, though. Or at least... Most of them do. James and Jacob have the same. Bloody hell. This would be the... This would be the peacock door, right? Okay, that's just going to take me back out to the corridor, so I don't really need to get that open, but... There's a lockbox with no clear way to open it. <sighs> Current hanger? Pretty fancy. I usually just toss all my stuff on the old standby. The laundry chair. Which is what I call that chair in the corner of my bedroom. <laughs> I think we've all got a chair like that, haven't we? Okay. I'm just looking around wondering if I am going to find anything else, but I don't know. So, I'm pretty convinced that's right. And, okay, if, if, if Lupus is east, where was Lupus? Lupus 3-8. But that doesn't seem to be right. Nothing's coming up. Uh, no. No, that doesn't seem to be aligned correctly. <sighs> Maybe this is wrong. Maybe Lupus isn't East. Yeah. I'm just looking to see if it's mentioned again. Huh. Is it round the wrong way? Because some people were putting in month day, not day month. So, wait, wait, wait. Maybe it's 8 3. Is that it? I think. Hang on, I'm gonna lock that in. I'm gonna lock that in, and I think. The bird's still over there, yes. Is, is that a. Is that a wolf? It kinda looks like a wolf. It also looks like a very strange horse. No, that is what it looks like. I've got these two sorted. We just need to get the unicorn and the whale. That's north and south. Okay. South didn't seem to work for some reason. So... Let's see. Ten, nine? Twelve, seven. Ten, nine, and twelve, seven. Jonathan's pig-headed. If we could only meet in the middle, I'm sure we would find the answer. Are they talking about the whale? They might be talking about the whale there. So, 10, 9, 12, 7. If we're meeting in the middle, it might be 11, 8. So I'm going to try that. There it is! There it is! Right in the centre! That's it! Okay! Lock it in! Lock it in! Okay. I think we've done three of them. Right, we just need to find this... Yeah, we, we just need to find the unicorn. Which is Mon Monoceros? 
Yeah. It's this one, isn't it? Right, it's this diagram. Someone's drawn a diagram and taken notes. So, is that one? And 28? There's nine, ten... Right, if I can replicate that, that'd be good. This is it. Okay, so... Nine and ten should be about there. One, twenty-eight. Yep, yeah, now we just need to get the month right. It was that uh, weird-looking M. But which one? That one? No, not that one. Is that it? Yes! Okay, that's got to be the hardest puzzle so far. But that did it. The lockbox opened up. Revealing a new key. I guess that's going to be the peacock key. Yeah? Brilliant. Brilliant. Got it open. All right. Hey, the planetarium's down. I found a key with a bird on it. I think it's a peacock? And we just so happen to know what door that opens. We do? We passed the door with a peacock on it when we were looking for a way out. Oh, yeah. It'll be on my right when I get back to the main hall. That's the one. You should check it out. Got it. Right. Right, okay, so, nothing else? Doesn't seem like it, no question mark. Great, yeah, that circled one, that circled one near the giant sigil, that's where we're going next. Right. No corridor shenanigans this time. Where's that music coming from? Ooh. Why is it asking me? Alright, let's just have a little look. We've kind of been everywhere else, right? Everywhere else is locked. I think I've got to. Oh boy, okay. Yep, use the peacock key. Another door down. Weird that it asked. Oh! I bet that's locked behind me. I'm locked in! Ah, oh, not for the first time. Wait. What's that? Oh, there's one else! Oh, God. Oh, don't stand there gawking, says William. You're trapped here now, so you might as well make yourself comfortable. Um, thank you? Are you really just sitting here? Are you okay? I don't think he looks okay. It looks like he's wearing some sort of saw device around his neck. Oh, boy. I was. Have you been here the whole time? Couldn't you hear us downstairs? Oh, you've definitely made yourself known. It was positively peaceful until then. Uh, peaceful with some sort of giant metal death device around your neck. I mean, I assume that's what that is. Oh, but it's okay. Let me... No, thank you. In fact, I'd prefer if you left. Maybe you could jump down. Excuse me? I require no assistance. I can also say it in French, Italian, and Spanish, if that would drill it in. Do please leave me alone. Hey, listen, buddy. No, no, it, it's a stressful situation for everyone. Deep breaths, Alex. I'm moving past it. Moving past it. <laughs> oh? Oh, yeah, okay. Alex, is that you up there? Are you talking to someone? Yeah, some guy. Extremely rude. He says he doesn't want any help and he wants me to leave him alone. And I want a cup of coffee and a pepperoni pizza. We're all suffering. <laughs> Bring him down here. That might take a second. The door locked behind me. And he's got a scary metal contraption around his neck. In keeping with the theme of the night, I assume it's lethal. That or a terrible fashion statement. Of course he does. Well, I don't care if he wants you to leave him alone. We can't afford privacy in here. He's got to tell us anything he knows. Okay. Hey, the least you can do is tell me who you are. <sighs> if I must. I am William Jones III. You've heard of me? Um, nope. But, uh, I'm Alex. Alex Young. The first. <laughs> so, William, you've got a death machine attached to you. <laughs> yes. I woke up with this cumbersome thing on. And people tell me I have a tendency for drama. Well, so far, every room has had some sort of trick to it? A, uh, a puzzle? If we can solve the puzzle, you'll be safe. Probably. I see. So far, I have a really good track record. I just need to figure out what the puzzle is and... I'll stop you right there, young lady. No thank you. I... What? Look, you don't need to be scared. I... 
I won't let anything happen to you. If we work together, we can figure this out. I, I promise. Yes, yes, very touching. My heart is sufficiently warmed. However, togetherness and friendship isn't going to get us out of here. We literally cannot all leave this place alive. Wh what? How do you... Oh, I know. I didn't think they'd actually go through with it, but why am I surprised? What can you expect from a group willing to call themselves the Tartarus Society? Ooh. Pretentious asses. I must have been drunk when I agreed to join. I even know your precious puzzle. They left me a note, after all. But I'm not interested in dancing around for their amusement. All I need to do is wait until morning. The rest of you can sort yourselves out. Excuse me? Did you say you know who put you here? What was in the note? And, and what do you mean about morning? Oh, please stop flailing around. If you must know, the note said to drink my favourite cocktail and relax. Be sure and mix it just right. You only deserve the best, after all, and if you make a mistake, that new accessory you're wearing will top you off with one final explosive ingredient. Well, screw them and their fancy bloody club. When I get out of here, I'm going to sue them into the bloody grave. Wait, 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 a cocktail? That's it? I can do that. I was a bartender for a while. Of course you were. <laughs> well, if you insist on going through with this charade, you can count me out. Do whatever you please. You might have noticed we don't even have electricity to run the bar appliances. And that's a problem? Do we need to run the bar appliances? So unless you were also an electrician in that colourful, oh-so-quirky past of yours, do please leave me be. I might not be an electrician, but every room I've encountered so far has had a solution. Even if it's not obvious, I'm sure I can figure this out. Look, just do whatever you want, alright? It doesn't matter. Just leave me alone. What a prick. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, I think the idea is that I'm meant to keep everyone alive, but if he dies, eh, I won't be so mad. Although it seems like he knows the most. <sighs> right, let's, let's talk to him again if possible. Is the power back? I'm working on it. Well, work harder. I'm quite stressed and extremely parched. Honestly, youths. <laughs> oh boy, okay, right. Anything in the fire? It's nice and warm. It'd be cozy if not for, well, you know, everything. <laughs> All right. So I can't read this book. Hmm. I can see outside, kind of. It's a void out there. This is very strange. I feel like I'm in a simulation or something, you know? I've got a vase here. A nice looking plant. Wonderful. Uh, there's where the music was coming from. Okay. Well, if I'm to make a cocktail, wouldn't I need some of this stuff? Hmm. Guess not. Right, here's the balcony. Right, yeah, so I can see... I can see... Well, both of them down there. There's Charles, there's Torres. Maybe I should just chuck this guy over the balcony. Right, here's the bar then. Let's take a look. Okay, hang on. What's this? Recipe cards. They must have slipped off the counter. They're covered in notes. Useful, I hope. Some sort of keypad down there as well. Hold on, no flower power? Okay. Um, so what is his favourite cocktail? Maybe it's one of these. And there's a gumshoe apparently as well. You just have to swap the amounts of coffee and whiskey. Over here we've got lazy morning. And a simple and clean. Right. Hmm. The keypad? Another four-digit code. No idea. I haven't got any drinks to mix. Not yet. There's a water filter, but no power. Can't turn it on. A coffee maker? Can't use the coffee machine. Right. Hmm. Nothing in here? No. <sighs> Strange. Okay, I should probably try the door. It's locked, yeah? It's locked tight. <sighs> okay. Well, this is fancy. A bunch of rich old guys knocking it back at a bar of some sort. Wait, is that William? And what's that on the floor behind everyone? Oh, okay, he's moved. Ah, I thought this place looked familiar. My word, 
They've recreated the whole bar. A year back, I hit some milestone. A net worth of, uh, several billion? I'm worth more now, of course. Past a certain point, it's hard to keep track. Sure, totally get it. Regardless, my friends and I got together to celebrate my business savvy. Ha! We drank the place dry. Every shelf! We even slammed it and had a pint of beer. Imagine! How could you not notice they modelled this place after that bar? And to be fair, I was quite drunk. Memories of that night are foggy. Besides, why would I ever expect to see a bar from the middle of London? One I had only been to once, replicated. Ugh, now I'm remembering. That's the night I had that argument with Harringworth. Looks like you got the last word in after all, nasty old goat. Okay. <laughs> what is that you're reading? Why are you bothering me? I thought you were working on the electricity. I still am. I have a feeling it has something to do with that painting, maybe. It's too flashy. This one? Or another one? Okay, well I can examine it again. So, this is a painting of this room? But something's off. Is, is the rug all crumpled up? This one? Oh! Oh! What have we got here? Hey, just like in the painting, art saves the day! Alright. It's some sort of wire panel. Oh, okay. Right. Um, well, I guess this is probably going to have something to do with the electricity. I think the yellow needs to connect to yellow if possible. Ah, okay. We've got a couple of greens now, and there's a couple of reds down here. Oh, yep, okay, that was it. Did you see that? Almost took off my hand. Where's he gone? William? Well, at least we're out of the Dark Ages and entered the Age of Electricity again. Oh, there he is. Good job, I suppose. Though I keep telling you, it's pointless. You know, for someone who wanted me to leave him alone, you're sure following me around a lot. Look, if you're going through with this, can you blame me for supervising? You're playing with my life, young lady. Well, thanks to your supervision, the power's back. You'll have your drink and be out of that device in no time. Hmm, confident, are we? You remind me of a, you remind me a little of myself when I was younger. Just don't get too cocky. In my experience, that's exactly when the universe decides to turn on you. Well, I plan to keep on being a problem for it, until it stops being a coward and kills me. Next stop, Drinksville. <laughs> okay, so... Some sort of glass has covered this up now. Hmm. It must mean something, but what? So it's a 3x3 three three grid. Um, I can't interact with this in any way. I can't press down on it. I can't twist anything else around. Huh. Any more clues? No, guess not. Is that what he was reading? That wasn't there before, was it? Yeah, it's that book William was reading. It looks like a journal. Oh, wow. It's scathing. These were his friends? Jeez. I kind of feel sorry for him. I'd probably be a little cranky too. Even if he is a... What does this say? Wow. That is some creative profanity. <laughs> Alright. Can we take a better look? Alright. He was happily drinking gumshoe after gumshoe like some commoner. So it's the gumshoe I think we need to make. A night to remember. Honestly, celebrating five billion. It's like watching a monkey dance after being thrown a banana. Weird cover, but these symbols look familiar. Hang on. Yes, they do. This is it. This... Th right. What, what does it mean exactly? So, let's take another look at this. Oh. oh, that's so convenient. That's so nice. I love quality of life stuff like that. I don't have to tab in and out all the time. So, yeah. I need to make those symbols, I think? Let's just have another look at the book. Okay, so these are the four symbols. This might be the four-digit code, honestly. That's what I'm thinking. It looks like this one and this one come together to make what looks like a four. 
and maybe that's it. So, if if I get these three together, for instance, that will make the first number. Let's see if that's let's see if that's right. So, yeah. What would that be? Like a well, maybe a five. Maybe a five. Right, 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 right. I, I, I can. I think I can figure this out. So it's a five, right? Okay. So this uh, the second symbol. It's going to need to be that one in the bottom right, and the circle, and those together, just like the one on the cover. That actually does seem to be a four. So four, right? Next up, this weird-looking sort of four symbol. Uh, so that's going to be. The top right and the middle right, both together, that would make a two. I think this is it. I think this is it. Okay, and then we've got this sort of star one. Uh, that's going to be the middle one, and it's going to be the bottom left. What would that be, a three? It might be a three. Okay, so I think, I think the first one's a five. And then it's four, two, three. That's got to be the combination, hasn't it? So, five, four, two, three. Yes! Okay, right, here we are, here we are. We've got some coffee beans. Coffee is going to go in the gumshoe. We've got a whole load of drinks as well. Whiskey, rum, apple schnapps. Might as well grab it all. Who knows what I'll need? Right? We've got a couple of empties too. Apple cordial and filtered water. The cordial bottle is no good to me, but the water bottle might come in handy. I'll take it just in case. Right. So we're leaving that one behind. Anything else? No. Oh, he's gone again. Hey there. Hey, I've got into the drinks cabinet. Can't do much without knowing what I'm meant to be making. You've got the journal. I know you've read it. Right. Didn't think you'd want to talk about it. And why is that? It's mostly your friends ridiculing you. Friends? I don't care about friends. I'm not a six-year-old child. Okay. Well, it, it sure seemed like what those people wrote about you upset you. I'm not upset. I'm exhausted, angry, thirsty, and not in any mood to be psychoanalyzed. Look, just, just finish whatever you're doing and let's get this over with. When I get out of here, I'm going to have a talk with some acquaintances of mine. Especially that jealous bastard Robert. If anyone, if anyone were to vote me in, you can bet it was him. Vote him in? Ooh, Robert? I, I don't know what I'm more uh, concerned about, honestly. Do I want to get a name, or do I want to know like what the concept of this place is? Like, right, voted you in. What is this, the fucking Big Brother house or something? H how democratic? Yes, well, I, uh, I imagine that's how it works. All this for talking to some lady. I barely drank anything. What? Oh, never mind that. My point was that it mentions me drinking a cocktail called a gumshoe. You think that's the drink? It must be. Whether they hated me or not, it certainly was a night to remember. That's great. Pretty sure I saw a gumshoe mentioned in one of those recipe cards. I'll work it out. Yes, I will. I will. Um, so the rum, the whiskey, apple liqueur, empty water. Coffee beans. Right, coffee is mentioned, isn't it? Right, yeah, high quality coffee. I don't know how high quality it's going to be, but let's hope it is. Otherwise that thing's going to explode around his neck. So, it's it's much like this apart from it's two coffee and one whiskey? Okay, and the cordial of choice? I guess that's going to have to be apple liqueur, because I don't really have anything else. Okay. Got the coffee beans, but no water. The machine's on, but without water, it's not much use. Saying that, I do have whiskey. On second thought, better not. <laughs> huh. So, yeah, I can use this now to mix the cocktail, but I think I'm going to need the coffee. And I'm going to need the water. So where the hell do we get the water from? Guys? Any thoughts? Any, <laughs> any ideas? Uh... Right. I suppose there's a water bottle in here, is there? Can't even interact with this stuff. 
Hmm. No, I don't think this is really helping, is it? Uh, there must be something that I've missed. Pick up? Ah, I need water, but do I need it enough to take it from a vase? I can see it's got bits of flour floating around. That counts as, uh, fiber. Right? <laughs> uh, no, not yet, not yet. I'll have another look around. Maybe there's something else, but maybe there's not. To be fair, there is there is the, the, the water filter here, so maybe I can filter those bits out. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's what I need to do. I just want to make sure this drink's perfect, because I don't really want to kill this guy. He's annoying, but he does seem to know what's going on. Oh, Christ. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. I'm going to take it. Yeah, William's not even paying attention. I'm sure it'll be fine. It'll be like a smoothie, probably. <laughs> okay, dirty water. And he's none the wiser. If I put that in this... Let's see. Yeah, dirty water goes in here and comes out crystal clear the other end. Perfect. That's the idea, anyway. Okay, filtered water. Good. Okay, so that water can be added to the coffee. It's got beans and water. Make coffee? Absolutely. Okay. Now, with the coffee, I think we've got all the necessary ingredients. Fresh coffee. Wonderful. So, I guess we need to start mixing. Two coffee, one cordial, one whiskey. That's a gumshoe. I really sincerely hope it is a gumshoe. That's what he said. That's what the journal said. So, right. Mix a drink. Absolutely. Okay, so, um, we're going to start with the coffee, I suppose. Yeah. One or two parts. So it's going to be two. Okay. All right. Um, we're going to put this cordial in as well, I suppose. Just one part. I can stop there, but should I add another ingredient? Yes, you should. I think this is where you add the whiskey. Okay? But this time, instead of two, it's going to be one. Uh, no, I, I, think, I think that's it. Gumshoe? Added to inventory. Right, is that correct? I think so. I put two coffee in, one whiskey, the cordial, that was the only one. There it is. The whiskey and the cure have cooled the... Oh, it's it's been cooled down. It's lukewarm. Uh... Right, well, I, I just got the coffee out. I don't know... If it was, you know, straight out of the pot, would that be hotter? Would it still keep its warmth, or am I missing something here? Where's he gone? <laughs> he hasn't dived over the balcony, has he? Oh no, here he is. Oh, can I use the fire? The recipe did mention piping hot. Warm the gumshoe at the fire? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. So now I have a piping hot gumshoe. I have to hold it at the edges. It's hot, right. Okay. If this kills you, I'm sorry. But it seems like you kind of had it coming. Finally. Is that my drink? Took you long enough. Before you pour this down your ungrateful throat, there's something I want to ask you about. You knew, somehow, about the mansion and puzzles. The death traps. But your plan was to just... Wait? Yes, I've said that. Please pay attention. Right, right, right. How is just sitting around supposed to help you survive, though? <sighs> oh, now I know I'm not going to like this answer. Well, I... I simply thought once everyone else was dead... Wow. <laughs> I don't know you, alright? I'm a victim too. Can you blame a man for wanting the best chance for himself he can get? Hey, I don't know you, and I still came to try and save you. Ugh. There's a time and a place for pointless squabbling, and this is not it. Hey, the person doing all the legwork gets to decide what's pointless. You clearly know way more about this situation than I do, and I want answers. And I want you to stop nattering at me and give me my damn drink, which, to be honest, has probably cooled down now. My god, no wonder people hate you enough to stick you in here. 
You've got to be the most uncooperative, unhelpful person I've ever met. And I've worked retail. <laughs> My feelings are just in absolute tatters, I assure you. You know what? Fine. Take the drink. But then, I want some information out of you. Oh, very well. If it'll get me some peace and quiet in this damnable place, we'll have a lovely chat. But you're not going to like it. Yeah, that tracks. Yeah. My drink? Please? Fine. Here. One gumshoe. It looks correct. I followed the recipe. You're absolutely sure? Ugh, I feel like someone's walking over my grave. Dare I risk it? Don't you want to get out of that thing? I do. But I'd also prefer not to simply die in a different, more ironic way. Are you 100% positive this is correct? Ugh! Yes! I think so! For the hundredth time, yes! Come on, bottoms up! It's getting cold! You'll get that machine off, and we'll go downstairs, and we'll find a way out. We'll all find a way out. Are we all holding hands in the scenario and skipping, too? Not that I have a choice, I suppose. This contraption started clicking. What? Why didn't you say anything? We report strange noises in our death machines, William. <laughs> Please, lower your voice. This type of hysteria is exactly why I chose not to say anything. This melodrama wouldn't have mattered if you'd made a mistake. Cheers. Okay. So, did I make a mistake or not? Oh god, is his head gonna explode? Oh! Oh! Yes! Yes! Okay, okay! Bloody hell! Ha! Take that, you awful obnoxious device. Score one for William. Phew! <laughs> what do you mean, phew? I thought you were sure. <laughs> I, I was, but still. It's a phew kind of situation, William. Bloody hell. And I'm pretty sure I heard the door unlock. Which means it's time for us to beat feet. Come on. I want to introduce you to Torres, and you can tell us... Now see here, I have barely recovered from that harrowing mistreatment. I never agreed to be led around like some performing monkey. Oh my god. <sighs> I wish you were a monkey. You'd probably talk less. You're coming with me. Unless you want to hang out by yourself in a place designed by people who very clearly want you dead. Well, I already told you, I... I, I, I would have been fine if I had just waited. I think. Oh, very well. Stop glaring at me. You'll get wrinkles. Let's go and see this friend of yours. Right. Okay. Whew. That was a few situation. Yeah. There's, uh... There's plenty of ways that could have gone wrong. Hey. Alex? We're here. We made it. Finally. Had a girl. Never had any doubt. Oh, wonderful. Oh, I'll take this chair, thank you. Would you be a dear and fetch me a drink? And who the hell are you? William Jones... The third. I beg your pardon, I was speaking. The third. <laughs> so, that drink? Oh boy. Oh, I know you. You came up in a missing persons investigation, a friend of mine was working. Woman tried to lodge a report about some secret society that was out to get her. Your name came up. Nobody took her seriously, but someone didn't like her talking. She turned up dead a few days later, strangled in her apartment. Know anything about that? I, I, I can't say that I do. Seriously? Is that the woman you talked to while drunk? I was hardly drunk. Slightly inebriated, perhaps. But not... Not the point. I, I suppose it might have been that, that that woman. She was very bubbly, sweet, blonde, tall, large. Uh, ah, uh. <laughs> bosoms. <laughs> oh my God! Seriously? Well, pardon me for noticing. Besides, what was she thinking? Going to the police? She knew there were people in our group who who were dangerous. Even I knew. That's it? She's dead. Th th that's nothing to do with me, is it? It's not my fault. None of this is my fault. So you're part of this Tartarus society, you said? 
Look, I, I, I told you. I thought this was all just for fun. A laugh. Such a laugh you were willing to sit on your ass and wait it out while the rest of us died? Yeah, super fun. You know, that woman we were talking about left behind a diary, William. She didn't go into detail, but putting those pieces together with what we know now... You had a hand in this. Ignorance is no excuse. I... I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I bet he doesn't. Will someone talk about it? Because I want to know more about this society. Always figured it was just a rumour. You know how rich old people love melodrama. It's supposedly a secret society of the elite. In other words, people with money, influence, and lots of it. And they used it to make whoever pissed them off just disappear. For their own amusement. <laughs> and I thought it was nonsense. I mean, can you blame me? That's who put us here? Some Illuminati wannabes? Oh my god, I'm so angry I think I gave myself acid reflux. Funny, I feel that way about the world myself more often than not. Man, okay. Hey, Alex, you were holding up okay? I mean, aside from everything? I guess so. I was just thinking. I'm barking orders at you when I can't even get off my ass and help. Well, I mean, it's not like you've chosen to be on your ass. I know. I just also know I'm asking a lot out of you. And you're so young, Alex. Hey, I'm not that young. Old enough for student loans, anyway. Honestly, people have been taking care of me my whole life. My parents, my grandmother. I've never really gotten a chance to pay it forward. It's not a bad thing to be loved, Alex. Yeah, but, like, this is my turn to help. It's my turn to take care of people. Honestly, it's kind of all I've ever wanted to do. I just never really got the opportunity. It's not like I'm not grateful, and I know you're capable. You just have to remember that you matter too. Oh, hey, trust me. Getting out of here with all my parts intact is definitely high up on my priorities. <laughs> okay, right, so I've saved three people now. Let's have a look at the map. Yeah, William, Torres, and Charles. What do I do next? Where do I go? Do I climb through the broken mirror in the bathroom, perhaps? I don't know. William, any ideas? So, there wasn't really time to talk earlier. What with the whole you-might-explode thing going on. But are you wearing a cravat? Oh, you noticed? I don't think I've ever seen anyone actually wear one of those in real life. Yes, well, the stylistic failings of modern man are none of my concern. Besides, it was my grandfather's. It's practically an heirloom. Your grandfather? Please tell me you know how the family tree works. Surely the public educational system isn't that bad. Somehow, I muddled through. But it was a challenge, what with being so poor and all. I'm just surprised, is all. I didn't take you for the sentimental type. My grandfather was a great man, a titan of business and investment. With my parents so often away on business, I spent a tremendous amount of time with him. Perhaps the greatest day of my life was when he wrapped this around my neck. I just graduated from university. Told me he was proud of everything I had accomplished. Wow, that's... That's really nice, William. I kinda get it. This shirt used to belong to my dad. He was always working, partially to help pay for school for me. I filched it when I moved out, because wearing it makes me feel closer to him. Hmm. Well, I'm not entirely sure that's a fair comparison. But I suppose we do all wear our past on our backs, don't we? One way or another. And that's it. He looks lost in thought. I'll leave him alone for now. Oh, come on! We need to know a little bit more about this society. <sighs> I need to know about what to do next, because honestly, I don't know. Although, with that, something's probably changed, right? We might have another planetarium. <laughs> Still locked, and from the look of things, it's sturdier than it seems. Someone else has already tried to break out before us. Guess there was no making it past the metal. Oh, I see, yeah. Someone was using a bone saw to try and cut themselves out, wow. But who? Who? Someone I haven't met yet, presumably. That's still locked, in that way. Over here? Locked, okay. Um, This peacock key. Let's just re-explore the place, you know? Let's re-explore the place and let's see 
what I've missed. I don't remember seeing any peacock doors or anything over here. Right, okay, so this is the sort of second room I was in. This is where I started. Nothing's changed. No. Honestly, we might be going through that mirror. Or not. Look at this. Hey, uh, Torres? Remember that super creepy door covered in blood? That's not a great segue. <laughs> it isn't boarded up anymore. But that's because it was blasted off its hinges. It looks like it was destroyed from the inside. Do you see anything? Anyone? There's nothing else up here. I, I mean, I don't hear anything. Unless they're being very, very quiet. So I don't know where they are. Okay, scaring myself. <laughs> Not the most productive thing I've done tonight. Good job, Alex. Just breathe. In, out. In, out. Phew. I'm okay. There's uh, a staircase behind it. It goes down. And of course, there's no lights. Alex, I hate to ask you this, but... No, no, I know. I'm the only one who can check it out. I'm sorry I'm not of more use to you. You've already done so much, and... No, no, look, we're in this together, okay? And we're gonna get out together. Thanks, Alex. Watch your back. Will do. Right, yeah. That was completely destroyed. Oh boy. What are we gonna find down these stairs? We're going to find out next time in part three of the Tartarus Key. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're still enjoying the series. If you are, leave this video a like. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. See you next time. Yeah, maybe we should focus on this place before we go upstairs. Hey. Oh, second try. Brilliant. What the fuck is this? Another door? What the hell? It's not Torres, is it? Wow, I haven't I haven't made any distance at all. I, uh. <laughs> I can't tell if you're the scariest person I've ever met or the most boring. I get that a lot. <laughs> Wait, what's this? A planetarium? I really don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> oh, I need a drink. Is that it? Yes! Ooh. Why is it asking me? What can you expect from a group willing to call themselves the Tartarus Society? Ooh. Do whatever you want, alright? It doesn't matter. Just leave me alone. What a prick. <laughs> if anyone were to vote me in, you can bet it was him. Vote him in? If this kills you, I'm sorry. But it seems like you kind of had it coming. Is his head going to explode? Oh! Oh! He looks lost in thought. I'll leave him alone for now. Oh, come on! We need to know a little bit more about this society. Honestly, we might be going through that mirror. Or not.